限界などないアフルパワーだオーライトガイズイエーウォーバックエッツタイムオーライトウォーオーケーオーケーオーケーデイルプリグッド Um, that actually does look very similar to, I think, the transformed LR gods, right? So, this is the LR blue Goku and Vegeta that fuses into blue Vegito. Um, I think that this character, I, I don't know for sure. I mean, I'm gonna want some time to test it out. Um, I would say that they are at least competing in a top five role at bare minimum. I think they'll be very good. Um, they're gonna have dodge in slot one, they're gonna have guard for their first couple of turns. They're just overall a very, very powerful character. Let's just jump in.、Um, we won't be able to transform into Vegito potentially until turn seven, so we'll see that when we get there.、Um, all right, yep, let's,、uh, let's just get going. So let's see. So they were at 265. Key is not really the greatest here, but they do get an additional two key per key sphere. We get the four orbs right there. Yeah, perfect.、Um, so with the extra two key per key sphere, that is going to allow us to be able to cook quite well. Right, I don't think key typically is going to be too much of an issue for them.、Uh, they do have a high chance to dodge in slot one, which we do proc right away. Beautiful. See, only a four million attack set right there. Certainly not the craziest.、Um, they stack defense on 18 key, they stack attack on their 12 key.、Uh, okay, okay, we did the one super. We have the guard, we've got the dodge.、Um, anything else super important to mention? Um, they did get the 150% defense when in slot one. I assume that's like Vegeta and Trunks' s、uh, buff, where Goku and Vegeta got an extra 150% defense, but we didn't actually see it, right? It's not a number we could see with ourselves, because it procs, you know, at, at the end of like, us getting orbs, but before even the enemy starts attacking.、Um, in slot two or three, Goku and Vegeta could have a little bit of extra attack, but typically, I mean, I think that they should hold up well. Um, in slot one. Now, they do get a guaranteed additional super at 20 key. We had kind of a little bit of a, a tricky opening, but it's all good.、Um, okay, so their leader skill, if you guys notice, we have Yamcha and we also have LR Bulma on the team. They lead three categories Battle of Fate, Future, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Really, really strong. But you can also get super class allies on the team at 150% of stats. LR Bulma is so good that we can do that. Okay.、Uh, I guess we might as well just pop Vegito as active since we can do it right here. Let, let, so let's,、um, let's put Vegito in slot one and then、uh, the new.、Uh, yeah, them in slot two. Oh, Vegito's got new sprites. Okay. Okay. So before we do this active, right again, we're, we're kind of cheating a little. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We got Vegito out super quick. Um, you could do Vegito's active, I believe, if your HP is under 50%, or if the enemy's HP is under 50%. When Vegito does this active, he gets guaranteed dodge on the turn, which is just ridiculous. It is just an utterly ridiculous ability. Being able to, to just have the, the dodge like that is just so stupid.、Uh, let's go ahead and pop this. Let's pop his active skill.、Um, again, we, we'll, if we don't kill for whatever reason, we will have guaranteed dodge on the turn. Yep, that's fire, dude. That little glow in his eyes. Oh my god, that KO screen is so awesome. But the only thing is. If we get the KO screen, that means we can't take advantage of the guaranteed dodge that he gets on that turn, right? So that's pretty good.、Um, all right, so we're going to be able to have Bulma support up, Yadrobi support, all this support up. So Goku and Vegeta, you know, with Bulma around, are going to be able to cook quite a bit. We'll float Bulma off. All right, so let's get Goku and Vegeta as many key spheres as possible.、Um, just that we'll give him that seven right there with the tech orbs. Now, we want to make sure that we at least save some orbs for Bulma. So let's get Vegito all the way on the left. The tech Vegito. Yep, that's perfect right there. Um, and then we want to give Bulma as. Oh, oh quickly, let's see our defense、um, before we do anything.、Uh, so at 335, again, remember, they stack defense with every 18 key super attack they do. And then also remember that they、um, get the extra 150% defense,、uh, like, sort of at the end of the turn. Yep, seven orbs is fine. 
Okay, okay, so, so this is good. So on this turn, we're gonna have a guaranteed additional super uh, is gonna proc. Their damage really is not the craziest. I don't know if I, I care so much because I think that they should be very effective defensively. The only thing though, is that Goku and Vegeta will guard guaranteed for the first, first four turns as part of their intro. I think there's the window, right? Where the, the intro guard has worn off and before you transform into Vegito Blue, I, I think that Goku and Vegeta could be potentially a little bit weak. I think that their defense really won't be that crazy, and they are at that point just a dodging character. Um, you probably are going to want to just float them off, I, I, I would almost imagine, or, or kind of not like focus on them as like a number one character in slot one uh, after their intro guard has worn off. I, I think it'll be a huge issue for them. Um, I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think that they're really going to be that crazy, uh, after the intro buff does wear off, right? Defensively, I think they won't be able to hold up. Now, Vegito, once we get to Vegito, we are completely fine without any worry at all. Um, we could just pop Vegito and slot one right here, whatever. Let him go crazy. Uh, so Vegito, I mean, he's getting two key with every orb, so key is going to be very free for him. Vegito gets 30% damage reduction before he attacks. Then he gets another 20% damage reduction in slot one. And he gets the high chance to dodge in slot one. And he gets an additional the high chance to super in slot one. Vegito gets a guaranteed additional super at 20 key. Like a lot of all the same busted shit like he's got. So this boy is going to be just firing out these supers. This is like the best super attack animation in the game. Too. Bro, that looks so good. Oh my god. It just goes on so long, too. All right, man. Okay, so we have uh, several guaranteed additionals coming in. This is the additional for being at 20 key. Then we have one more additional coming in hot uh, from being in slot one, which is this one. This is the slot one additional right here. Um, and then we could still do the hidden potential system additional. While we're doing this, Vegito has 20% damage reduction, and he has a 50% chance to dodge while he's doing all these attacks. And we get the hidden potential system additional super. And you guys see, once you get Vegito blue out, he is exactly what people want him to be. He is God, right? And keep in mind... Um, this version of Vegito we're looking at, like, like he looks good and stuff like that, for sure. Uh, oh, they're, they're at 8.52 right there. That's a much better attack set than we've seen from the other Goku and Vegeta. Not bad, not bad. That's them in slot 2, by the way. They get the extra damage in slot 2 and 3. So that, that's what we saw right there. Um, So, yeah, Vegito is really, really crazy. I'm just going to transform. But remember that all of base Goku and Vegeta's super attacks and stuff like that, they're super attacking, and they're building up their stats over and over and over. Um, let's put um, Goku and Vegeta... Well, hold on. So what is their defense right here? What are we at? <sighs> yeah, so see, th this is where things get risky. This is the weakness of this character right here. We are no longer guarding. And, I mean, look at their defense, right? In slot one, we get a 50% chance to dodge, but what if they get cooked? Let's put them in slot one. We'll put LR Vegito in slot two. Um, let's turn the animation skip on and just transform the gods. Um, we're going to need them to potentially be transformed here just in case. Let's go ahead and pop that. Yep. Perfect. Uh, orbs are not the craziest here either. Um, let's, let's just give Goku and Vegeta. Keep them in slot one and get Goku and Vegeta the um, two orbs all the way on the left. The red orbs. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yep. Now put uh, LR Vegito Blue in slot two. And have give him the AGL orbs right there. Just want to play this uh, a little cautiously. And then we can give the gods um, the orbs on the right, I think. Yeah, perfect. Yep, exactly that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, okay. So Goku and Vegeta could potentially get cooked here, but in slot one, they at least have a 50% chance to dodge. Thank God. That would have hurt really badly. Remember, their guard does rough. Th this is the weakness of this character. When the intro is gone, before you transform, they're a little bit of a sitting duck. I, I, I think that it's going to be bad, actually. Um, but then, you know, once you transform into Vegito Blue, it, it's going to be over. I mean, imagine the two Vegito Blues next to each other. I mean, you're not going to have any struggles whatsoever at all. It's just going to be pure decimation, right? Um... Okay, 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 okay. I I'm just thinking of a lot of the tough fights right now, right? Like, 
Uh, so we could transform into Vegito on turn five if we've taken a little bit of damage. I just hate that they made it to where we could transform into Vegito if HP is under 70% on turn five. That's pretty bad. I, like that's I I don't like that lack of consistency, right? It's like you you have to specifically take a little damage to do that. Now we can alternatively transform on turn seven if there is a future Saga ally or enemy, but still, I, I mean, I'm just not the biggest fan. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do this. Give Vegito as much key as we can. We'll give Goku and Vegito as much key as we can. Uh, we do need to make sure um, that we give Bulma a lot of her orbs, though. Bulma does need to get five. Yeah, give him those AJ orbs right there. That's perfect. Um, then for Goku and Vegeta here, let's give them... I think we could give them those in orbs, the line of in orbs right there. Perfect. And then we should be able to get Bulma her five here. Perfect, we can. Yep, exactly. Nice. Bulma getting five gives us the support. The ability to run Bulma on the team just means the characters are going to be heavily juiced and are going to look a lot better, by the way. It, it, it's so good for Vegito and this team that we could run Bulma. Bulma, the, you know, the most devastating character in the game, essentially. Really awesome. And then Vegito, of course, is going to go crazy with all his additionals and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, dude. Once you get this guy out, I'm not even sure. I, I think I'm going to say this. I'm definitely going to give my Vegito full dodge. Because um, I am... I Vegito himself is probably not going to need it so much. Right? Remember, I mean, you're going to have the turn of guaranteed dodge on the active skill turn as well. But I, I think Vegito is fine. Goku and Vegeta should be fine when their intro is up. But that window, when your intro is not up before you could transform, it is going to be bad. It really is. So we'll be able to transform here. Perfect. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and transform. Turn into Vegito right here. Vegeta! Alright, so we got Vegito out. Um, let's check our defense real quick. So we're at 564 right here. Yeah, so so with all the stacked 18 key supers from base Goku and Vegeta. Remember, he's got the damage reduction, he's got the dodge, he's gonna have all the additionals. Transform Vegito Blue is, is definitely going to be on just a different level altogether. We could just have him tear through Nova right here. So there we go. Um, let me know what you guys think of LR, Goku, and Vegeta slash Vegito Blue. Um, the unit is looking very good. There's a definite definitive weakness that this character is going to have. It, it Like, it's a real thing after the intro for Goku and Vegeta runs off. But this unit is going to be very dominant. The stats that they're going to put up are going to be crazy. It's going to be ultra powerful. Um, Vegito Blue is super effective against all types as well, right? I believe he is super effective um, when you're in Vegito Blue form. Yeah, he is. Perfect. Uh, yeah, dude, this... Whew. My only real issue is I just wish that you could always transform on turn 5. If they would take away the HP condition for turn 5, I, I think that would have been better. Like... They could have made it to where it's like turn five with a future saga ally or enemy, and then turn seven with the HP condition or something like that. I think would have worked better. I, I just because I mean Vegito Blue, he's got the Super 17 transformation condition essentially, which is not good. I mean it, it's I, I just so many fights where you're not gonna be able to transform. That that's the one sort of major concern I have for this character. But once you go blue and stuff like that, once you get to Vegito, I mean it's just gonna be GG as he just kills everything, as he nukes and destroys and kills everything. It's gonna be crazy. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, LR Vegito Blue is that guy.